Hi guys, uh, I hope you're doing fine. I'm not in a quarantine in the middle of the woods, by the way, but Andre and I, we have a mandatory home office due to the coronavirus spread, so we took this opportunity to leave civilization. So I decided to make a video and show you the power of the Deflicker parameter in this video. You can find the Deflicker parameter here, here uh, if you click advanced. It's this parameter and the default value is 0 0.5. So what the Deflicker does is that it maintains temporal coherency throughout the whole animation. It makes sure that the animation is still and doesn't flicker. I'm going to show you what happens if you set the Deflicker parameter to zero. Um, look how it flickers. It's so annoying, I think. But maybe you want that for some glitchy project. But it's kind of distracting and disturbing. Um, and we don't think that the real animation should look like this. So I have another project that I want to show you. This is painted by Alice Zhang. She's amazing. Again, see, this is this is kind of creepy. Look at look at the eye. It's not even in its place. It just it just flickers. It's glitchy. So if you set the deflicker parameter to zero, you're basically telling EB synth don't follow the optical flow of the video at all. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you set the deflicker to 10, which is like the other extreme. It holds together a lot better, uh, but it looks rubbery. It looks like texture mapping and you don't want that. Look at those stretchy parts here around, the, around her arm. It's also annoying. So I'm going to show you the same setting on the bears. Uh, Deflicker 10. Look at the water. It's, um, it holds together a lot better. It doesn't flicker, so it's temporally coherent, but it looks like it's filling, um, it's stretchy, and I think that it might look even worse than when the Deflicker is zero. So we found out, or we think, that the best values you can set for the Deflicker are between 0 0.5 and 2. Um, I'm gonna show you what uh, some comparisons. So here are the bears. Let's have a look at the most left part of the video. That is, the deflicker is set to zero. You can see how it flickers and it's distracting. It's glitchy. Then in the middle, the deflicker is set to two, which is like my favorite setting, and it's a compromise. It's always a compromise. It's, this is a compromise between a mushroom trip. And a rubber, so um, you have to decide. But um, I usually just set the deflicker to two, and it works kind of fine. And if you look look at the most right video, the deflicker is set to ten, and it just looks too stretchy and too rubbery, in my opinion. But maybe you like that, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like. I'm gonna show you the comparison on the other sequence. So this is from the Blade Runner, by the way. It's it's an amazing painting. Uh, so, the most left the deflicker is set to zero, it's flickering. I mean, on the plus side, the texture is preserved, which is, which is great, because if you look at the right, where the deflicker is set to 10, the texture is mostly gone. It all looks like a, a soup of colors. In the middle, that's a compromise. So, that's it from me. Um, I hope you have a great evening, and I'll explain the rest of the parameters in the following video. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!